Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is, well, as you can see outside, it is sunny and it's warm enough to go fly. Today is the day that I'm going to be testing D-Shot 600 on my 5-inch FT-210. Um, and I just thought, hey, why don't we, why don't I take people with me so I can give y'all the first, um, I guess, my first impressions of it on camera. I have put my rates on this quad, um, but I haven't changed the PIDs at all. I might go back to, to, to stock PIDs, stock rates, stock everything, just so I can see you know, how it feels, because who knows, it might do better. All right, so I changed, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and reset all of the my rates. I'm gonna go ahead and reset rates on this thing. Let's connect. All right, so there it is in beta flight. Uh, PID tuning. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but let's just go to refresh. So yeah. So that's completely stock. All right, so I've got all my batteries charged. I've got quad down there, strapped to a backpack. So I'm gonna cut to me driving to the spot. Um, so the spot I'm going to be going to is a very, very short drive from me. And I just go to Tower Grove Park because one, it's close, and two, it's a spot that I know pretty well. Um, I also know that there is a an open space, like a pretty good size, just open field. That should be a really good testing ground. All right, okay. Let me just get this set up here. Hopefully, you can see me. All right. So I've arrived in Tower Grove Park. I'm gonna. Get everything set up. I'm gonna move over to the passenger side of the seat. I'm gonna fly from inside the car. One thing I do want to say is um, about this rig. This is where I have the antennas for the X4R because that's the only, just the, that's the only way I could get it in there. So we'll see what I've done. So put the antennas in facing this way, but then routed them underneath this little paper case to go back out the opposite way towards the towards the back of the aircraft. So these are pretty short. I mean, these hands are long, but in this case, they're short, and they're kind of close to the carbon and next to the uh, antenna on the video transmitter, and I'm inside of basically a box. So this is going to be a good test for range as well, but I'm just going to stand here so that way I don't have to walk outside and use gloves, but more importantly, I want to be able to film in here so y'all be able to at least hear me, because if I'm outside, I'm going to be standing this little tripod apparatus that I have my phone attached to is not going to be, you know, it's not going to be at eye level. It's going to be on the ground, so it might be difficult for y'all to hear me. So, for, at least for this first battery, I'm going to stay in here and talk as I'm flying. And so, yeah, let's get set up and see how this works. So I'm all set up, quads outside, camera's rolling. Uh, let me reset my timer. Hold on. All right. So, main D shot voyage outside in the cold. Quad will still arm. Take one. Here we go. So uh, I'm just gonna try to keep it smooth and not crash. Flying from inside. Jesus is weird. I'm gonna flying over snow. First impressions, it feels good. I'm just taking it easy. Um, rates feel good. It feels kind of like uh, like I'm like I have my old pits and stuff. 
feels really smooth. It just feels smooth and floaty. And this is, again, stock rates, stock pids. Whoa, that roll rate, though, is really slow. I just try to do a roll and pop up. Okay, yeah, it rolls really slow. Um, so, yeah, I definitely would probably need to bump up some RC rate on the end because I just gave it full stick. And it just kind of really took its time rolling. I don't know. It, the, the connection that I feel to the aircraft is really good. Like, this feels just really just intuitive to fly, I guess. That's the best way to put it. Like, this feels like... It's just an extension of my body, and that's pretty, that's kind of something that, that I look for. Everything I'm doing right now feels really instinctive. Like, I don't feel, like, like I'm not thinking, you know, roll left, roll right, pitch forward, pitch back. Like, it feels like, like I'm just thinking, and the quad is just responding. Like, that's the best way I can put it. And even on these roll rates, I'm starting to get a little crazy with it. And it just feels so good. Oh my gosh. That felt really good. That was like a full five minute flight on a 1300. ESCs aren't even hot, motors aren't hot. Just, dude, that felt so good. And even on stock pids and stock rates, I might go into the OSD menu and bump my rates up a little bit just across everything. Get back, I'm gonna get uh, this battery changed and then we're gonna go fly again. shot 600 tests went really well this thing performed flawlessly i was a little concerned because these have these like these ESCs have like this capacitor on them um the two and one ESCs have this capacitor so i thought that would interfere with d with d shot and it didn't i didn't have to make any modifications to the electronic speed controllers themselves to be able to run D-Shot, and that was really cool and awesome. Um, 
So first impressions of D-Shot 600 is it works on the TBS 2-in-1 ESCs. I mean, these things aren't even hot. I mean, that, that, and that's partly, I guess, due to the 25-degree weather outside. But even then, this thing flew really great, and that was on the stock beta flight PIDs and on the stock beta flight rates. The range that I got from, from while I was inside the car was really good, especially considering, like, the little fourth wave antenna is about, you know, right there. And it's really close to the carbon, so I was just, I was wondering, eh, did I get the antenna away from the carbon enough? And these are actually, um, these aren't the stock, well, these are replacement antennas that I bought on Amazon. They worked really well. All in all, great first impressions. So, I guess time will really tell if D-Shot will cause this quad any problems, but I feel kind of safe in saying that I guess if you want to get the TBS Power Cube, two in one ESCs, not the not the one with the full stack. I would say get it and run D Shot six hundred. I mean, I don't because I figured like if if these things would have had a problem, um, then they would have caught fire because I did a lot of punch outs. A lot of, you know, as many tricks as I could. I tried to push this thing hard, and they held up. These are, these are actually the, the V2s, I guess. Um, these will not accept D-Shot. However, so, like, just the single stack, like, ESC like this, this will not accept D-Shot 600. However, the, um, the two-in-ones... We'll take them flawlessly, as far as I can tell. So, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for kind of tuning in and seeing what I was doing. And um, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.